Hey everybody. I wanted to uh, thank you all, all for the new subscribers, and I wanted to thank you all who joined the Facebook group. Um, link will be below in the description. And um, I wanted to show you some new stuff. In, in a past video, I showed you how I make these um, microgreens planters, which I have a bunch of here. Um, so this, uh, all different kinds. I didn't label them this time, so um, they're all, this one's a mix, I know that. And um, anyway, I got broccoli ones. I got a couple different mixes. We have some, some wheat grass growing over here for us. I have um, another one for my cat that I'm doing. But I wanted to show you, I showed you in the video how to make these before. And I used to pre-sprout the seeds before putting them on here. But I, but I don't do that anymore. It's easy, I found an easier way. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. Just hold on one minute, because I forgot the lid for this. Okay, you gotta bear with me, because I'm new to all this, um, making videos and equipment and everything um, but so basically i've made my container yeah you know, i just cut the the hole out of the lid kept the locking ring cut my screen you want fine mesh screen otherwise your seeds might fall through now i'm going to fill this with my nutrient solution i'm using maxi grow one teaspoon per gallon uh, for the microgreens so i fill it up till just below the screen you know, about a quarter of an inch or so. And depending on what you're growing, um, you'll need a different amount of seed to sprinkle on the top here. So in this case, I'm using a nice mix from Todd Seeds um, called Sprouter's Choice, one of my faves. I believe it's this run right here, um, which this is probably about 10 days old. So as you can see, there's no reason why anybody can't grow all the microgreens and grains. Here we have in the grow pipe, we have some mizuna. Uh, but there's no reason why you can't grow all the greens that you need for yourself very easily. Um, I just made a bookcase and mounted some shop lights up in it uh, for the microgreens, and it works beautifully. So I'm going to do a teaspoon and a half of the Sprouter's Choice. So basically, I filled up my container. I'm just gonna sprinkle these on. You know, you try to get an even, even coating. Don't worry if there's a little bit of uh, solution up there on the top. Sometimes I rub it with, with my hand to try to make it so it's all, so there's no puddling, which is a good idea. So that's one teaspoon. So I'm going to go about another half a teaspoon. Some seeds you can go on pretty heavy, but like arugula, if I put that on heavy, you can get some uh, where the plants in the center kind of die off. They don't get enough air. So then I've got them sprinkled on there like that. All I do now, give it a couple of mists. And then I put this cover on. This is the portion that I cut out of the lid previously. Pop that on there, leave it sit anywhere. You know, it doesn't have to be in the dark, doesn't have to be in the light. Um, it's okay if it is in the light. And then this one's a little further along. They're just starting to get little tails on them. Let me take the lid off. But basically, what you want to do is just give them a mist twice a day. You know, give them a little spray and then put your lid back on. And probably by the second day, it will start pushing the lid off. And at that point, just take the lid off, leave it off, put them under the light, and Nothing else to do until you're ready to harvest. 
So that's about it, you know. And then if you wanted to grow in a grow pipe or some other situation, you can pull out some of these babies and, you know, drop them in the pipe or drop them into a, uh, um, a net cup or whatever you, however you like to grow. Um, but yeah, anyway, this is, uh, so we have quite a bit of stuff here. So anyway, I'm really excited. The group is growing and, um, I'm getting some, a couple of subscribers here on YouTube and I'm really grateful. I really, uh, I love growing this stuff. You know, this is, this is only a small portion of what I have growing. This is just what I grow in the house. And actually there's a few more microgreens that are a little smaller. Uh, over on the bookcase and some stuff in the window, but uh, yeah, it's very easy. So I really, I really encourage you all uh, to to get your greens growing. Get yourself some seeds. I like Todd seeds, but uh, you know wherever you like to get your seeds and uh, enjoy some uh, microgreens. These things are super healthy, super good for you. I just uh, I love it because 10 to 14 days we have a beautiful crop. And once I empty one, I try to, you know, by the next day, start it up again. And you have a continuous supply. It only takes a few minutes a day. So anyway, thank you all for watching and happy growing, everyone.